Hey you, I'm so glad that you're here. We're going to be going on a whimsical decor tour today. <laughs> where I'll be showing you some fun and cute things that I have in my apartment that bring joy to my environment and to my everyday. And so I'll be putting all the links to those things in the description if you're interested in those things for yourself, the things that I will be showing you. And I'm thinking that I'm going to be doing a sequel to this that's going to be homemade edition. So all the things that I made myself and that video will not have links in the description because I made them, of course, but hopefully that gives you some inspiration if you want to create things for your space as well. Some whimsical, fun things to add some joy to your space. And I'm going to give a quick shout out to my friend Grace for suggesting I do a whimsical decor tour. <laughs> so are you ready to see some fun and cute things? Let's go. I have my dinosaur head. Isn't she cute? She is yellow, just like a lot of other elements in my apartment because I think yellow is a really happy color. So I have a bunch of other yellow things in my apartment, also blue. Yeah, my apartment's very yellow, white, and blue. But I have the link to this Etsy shop because I got it on Etsy, got her on Etsy. And so, at this shop they have not just dinosaurs but i like dinosaurs and so i chose a dinosaur but they have all different kinds of creatures and animals to choose from and a bunch of different colors so i chose a dinosaur and i chose yellow but go check it out and see if there's any combo of things that you would like i have her above my tv and so i think this is a great way to add some could add a pop of color, plus also add whimsy ah! <laughs> to your day um, to take it to the next level, which I love to do. Um, on the whimsy scale, since it's fall, it's fun to dress her up. So I had a scarf on her before. Fall. And then in the winter, can add a hat. I usually put a scarf inside the hat to kind of keep it keep its shape. So that's the winter. Around Christmas, because I celebrate Christmas, I do the same thing with <laughs> the Santa hat. <laughs> Cute. Santa! And then in the spring and the summer, I put this flower crown on her, which I made myself for my graduation so this is technically homemade this one but that is what i put on her in the spring and summer she looks like such a queen i love it so yeah so let's head over to the next thing this next stop is kind of a two-part situation because it has to do with my walls and so the first part of this stop on this whimsical decor tour are these little decals that I put on the wall. And as you can see, there is this yellow theme that I have. So this is not wallpaper. They are each individual decal stickers that you can put on the wall. I also get th got this on Etsy. I got a lot of things on this tour on Etsy. Yay Etsy, yay artists on Etsy selling your things. I like the effect of it kind of scattered around. I think that adds a little more fun to it. Oh, and as a little side note, decorating your place seasonally is also a really fun way to add some uh, fun and adventure and play and whimsy to your space as well. So a little side note, I started to decorate for fall because fall is here, spooky season's here, so I'm gonna do one layer of fall things first, and then I'm going to do a layer of spooky things after. I live in a rental, so I can't 
really paint or put real wallpaper on my walls, but I still wanted an accent wall. And so this is my accent wall. I think it's a really fun way to jazz up any space. Um, I mean, you can put it all over your walls if you want, but I think it's fun to just have an accent wall. It makes it really cool and fun and happy. And so, are you ready, kids? <laughs> Time for the second part. <laughs> it's in another room. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now we're at the second part of the stop. Uh, this uh, is not a decal. Not. <laughs> what am I trying to say? They're not decals. These flowers are not decals. They are a part of a wallpaper. Not a real wallpaper though. Wallpaper that is something that you can just stick on and take off. Removable wallpaper. I also got this on Etsy. They have different types of patterns and things like that. So yeah, it comes in patterns. There's ones where they're kind of like a mural, so it's like one big image. Um, but I like the pattern and I liked the color, of course. There's the yellow again. Um, I like flowers, I like floral things, and I just kind of liked how it kind of had a painterly kind of feel to it. I put this up myself, I put the decals up myself. Decals, definitely, definitely, <laughs> definitely easier to put up than this. This took a lot more time, a lot more planning because I had to measure because it comes in strips and then you have to measure your wall and make sure that you have enough and then you have to be able to kind of do the process of putting wallpaper up. So this takes a little bit of more time and planning and thought and it was more expensive so keep that in mind but I freaking love it. I feel like it breathes so much more life into my room than before it was just white walls and I feel like it just makes it so much more fun and happy. I think this is a great idea. Once again, accent wall. It's great to have an accent wall. It's really nice. Highly recommend. So next up, I have my moss wall that I put in my bathroom before. It was just, you know, plain rental white bathroom. And I think this adds so much to this little space. It is so pretty and um, also got this on Etsy so I have the link below. It comes in multiple sizes and vibes so check it out but I got this size with this vibe because I like this the most and it fits really well in here um, and I really like it because on the other side as you can see, <laughs> tripod, as you can see, it's kind of cool when I get ready in the morning because then I can see, this is like the background for my head and it's like I'm in nature and I'm just getting ready in nature. But it's nice, especially when you live in a city to kind of have that nature feel vibe. Um, so I highly recommend. Just want to give one note. It does have a smell for like the beginning parts of having it that like kind of a mossy earthy nature smell but after a little while it goes away and then it, it doesn't smell like anything. Only if you shove your nose in it like I just did. <laughs> But it's not a bad smell, but it's definitely a strong smell for just like a little bit, if you don't mind that. But other than that, I really love it. It adds so much to this little bathroom space that I have. And it's nice to have this behind my head. <laughs> Hi, I am on the floor now because on our next stop, I have these cute little sheep! Yee! Aren't they cute? I have a big one. And then I have a tinier one. And they're friends. And they just kind of hang out next to my couch. These I did not get from Etsy. These I got from Click. 
uh, which is a store, and I have the link down below to that. I got this one first because I wanted this for my birthday. My mom was just like, what do you want for your birthday? And for the longest time, because she's someone who uh, wants to know things really ahead of time. And I was like, oh, I don't know. But then I saw this and I was just like, oh my gosh, I want this for my birthday. So I got this a few years ago for my birthday. And I love it. And then later on, I was just like, my little sheep needs a friend. And so I have this tiny one too, and they just kind of hang out together like so next to my couch. I think it's really fun and cute to have some little animals, animal buddies in your apartment or house or whatever space that you're in. Um, I think they're so cute and they definitely add a lot of joy and whimsy to my space. Oh, okay, wait, before I go, I totally forgot. I also, to take the whimsy to the next level, <laughs> I got this baby hat that I put on in the winter. And sometimes I put a little something extra inside to kind of fluff it up, just like I do with my T-Rex head. So that's another fun way to take the whimsy to the next level. stop is my plant, my circle plant. <laughs> and so another really fun way to add a little bit of whimsy to your decor is if you have a vining plant to have a wire or in this case it's a circle and you can tie it around. I got this one, this plant, from the store like this, but I have a link below if you want to ha get these kind of stakes, circle stakes. But I also saw videos of people creating different kind of wire shapes themselves and having the vines go all over it, which is such a cool idea. And so maybe in the future I might make, make one of those because that sounds super cool. But I think that's a great way to add some whimsy and some fun into your place if you have a vining plant or if you plan on getting a vining kind of plant um, to have really cool structures to have the vines go on. You don't need to have a garden to do that. You can do that in a house plant pot too. So there you go. <laughs> Next up, we have these cute little birdies on a twig hanging from my ceiling, uh, which is kind of in this area where my front door is, because I kind of have a bird theme in my front hallway area of my apartment. And so I thought this was a perfect kind of cute thing to have um, that kind of divides the entrance area and my kind of more living space area in my apartment. Uh, it's so cute. I love how chubby they are. And I like how they're just all together and it's like they have friends. I'm gonna be married and have a hundred kids so I can have a hundred friends and no one can say no to being my friend. And I love the colors and they're just really happy. It's so cool that this is a real twig. Um, and it looks like it was knitted plus felted at the same time. Unfortunately, I looked and I don't think they have this exact thing anymore, but they have a lot of other cute little felted or knitted creatures, which are so cute. So if you're interested in any sort of thing like that, check it out. It adds so much fun to the space. I love it so much. I love birds. Aren't they so cute? I really love one of my dish towels <laughs> that I think I should show you because it, it makes me so happy. <laughs> 
it's excuse it it's a little bit dirty because I use it all the time because I love it and it's amazing but it is about butts and buns which makes me laugh the best part of all is hot buns are ready look at that booty <laughs> it makes me laugh it makes me smile it is just something that makes me really happy and I have the link below for it because not only do they have this pattern but they have a lot of other patterns too but highly recommend so cute and it adds a little bit of fun and play and joy to my kitchen space I have a little dinosaur plant terrarium as you can see there's a little dinosaur inside so before I had a lot of little dinosaur I still have a lot of little dinosaurs inside but the plants grew a lot and so the poor dinosaurs are kind of fighting for their lives now because <laughs> the plants are kind of overtaking the terrarium but if you can see closely I don't know if you can see there are cute little dinosaurs inside <laughs> living their life that one's in there yeah hanging out but I think this is a really cool fun way to add some whimsy to your space um but definitely keep in mind that the plants might grow I I love it because as you know by now probably I love dinosaurs and it's so cute And the tour I have to add two more things as you can see it is the next day um, and I did not want to finish without adding two more things uh, I realized to the whimsical decor tour and um, so the one of the last two things that I want to share is this card <laughs> my butt itches this is a card that I found in just, I think it was Dwayne Reed or CVS. And I remember I was looking for a card for someone and I ended up stumbling across this card. And of course this caught my eye because I mean, so I look at it and it just says, just thought you'd like to know. Anyway, happy birthday. And I remember bursting out laughing. I was laughing so hard. This definitely made my day and made me super happy. So I just bought the card and I, it's been on my shelf for many years now, but I love this card so much. I don't have a link to this, obviously, because it was just a card in a store. But if you find a card that brings you joy, um, just, you know, put it up. And it's kind of cute and it's funny. Highly recommend. The other thing that I wanted to show before I finished the whimsical decor tour is... <laughs> are these sticky notes? Aren't they cute? <laughs> They're just like, it's a little dog booty. It's a little corgi butt. Um, <laughs> which is so cute. And so I guess this technically is not a decor item it's like an office supply a whimsical office supply but i kind of use it as a decor item because i just have it on my shelf and now thinking about it i definitely have themes in terms of what i like in my whimsical decor tour of my apartment what am i trying to say i totally lost my train of thought in the middle of that i have noticed that there are themes in the whimsy items that i place in my apartment one of the themes is clearly butts <laughs> this and the and my my kitchen towel butts is one theme another theme is i think nature slash plants another theme is dinosaurs another theme is yellow and then there's animals. I think I would categorize it into those themes, which I only realize now, looking back on the whole tour. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on my whimsical decor tour.
with me to see some of the cute and fun things that I have around my apartment that bring joy to my space and to my life. And hopefully maybe there's some things in there that inspire you or things that you're interested in that you want to get for yourself or your own space to create some whimsical vibes in your space as well. And stay tuned for the homemade edition that will be coming soon. I will see you on the flippity flip. Bye! Yesterday there was some